just taking the mound is left-hander Trevor Rogers. He pitched into the fifth inning every single one of his games, which is nice to see. He has gotten better with every single start. There's a bouncer toward short for Tim Anderson. Charges and gets the out at first base. That is out number one. Here comes the 3 2 payoff pitch, and that is grounded to the left side. Up with it, Lopez. He throws the first. Bell applies a tag on him. Two up and two down for Trevor Rogers. Ground ball to third. Three ground ball outs. And that's a perfect top of the first inning for Trevor Rogers. We'll go to the bottom of the first. A start for Keaton Wynn here today in Miami. He has been the tough luck guy in this Giants rotation. Three starts and 0 and 3 record, but really he's thrown the ball well. It's that one to center. And hit it pretty well. Lee all the way back nearly to the warning track. One away. Modest five game hit streak for. De La Cruz. You know what? Let's make it six, shall we? How about a six game hit streak? Every time he swings the bat these days, he's barreling up everything, and the exit velocity with regularity is over 100 miles an hour. I mean, he has just been getting it done. Now a swing from Chisholm and a high drive. Hit out to deep right center field. Slater back onto the warning track. Jumping in the air, he makes the catch. Right before grazing up against the wall, an excellent play from Austin Slater. Takes an extra base hit away from Jazz Chisholm Jr. Got him. Good fastball from Keaton Wynn. He gets his first strikeout. We'll go to the top of the second. Jorge Soler leads off. One two pitch from Trevor Rogers. And Soler lines one into right center field. That's a base hit for Jorge Soler. Lead off single for the Giants here in the second. First hit of the game. Two balls and two strikes. And he got him to chase. That's a good changeup. First strike out of the afternoon for Rodgers. Trevor Rodgers has actually been utilizing that changeup a whole bunch. We have seen that changeup uptick a whole bunch. Tyro Estrada now batting right-handed. Swings, grounds it sharply fair. Right inside of third base. Down the left field line into the corner. Gordon to dig it out. Soler to third. He's being waved home. And Soler will score without even a relay. Gordon had some trouble digging it out in that left field corner. And Jorge Soler scoring all the way from first on the Tyro Estrada double. And the Giants take an early 1-0 lead. Ball and two strikes on Bailey. Called strike three. Went to the changeup. Second strike out of the inning. He's getting some swings and misses on his changeup and a lot of soft contact. Bounce to third, bobbled by Lopez, sticks with it, and makes the play. That's a tricky but really nice play for Otto Lopez. Home half the third inning here at Lone Depot Park, and the leadoff batter will be Johnny Pareda, making his major league debut this afternoon and catching for the Marlins. His wife and beautiful family are here this afternoon. 0-2 oh coming. And a called strike three. Sure he'll want a little room on the outside part of the plate when he's got the gear back on. That one hit out to left center. Back into his left, Tyler Fitzgerald. And in front of the warning track, Fitzgerald will reach up to make the catch. Six in a row. Now set down by Keaton Wynn. We'll move to the fourth. Nobody on, nobody out, beginning the fourth. Here comes the 3-2 pitch, and he swings and misses. Strike three. Lee rarely swings and misses. Coming into this series, he had, what, 10, I think, swings and misses? Got two in a row right there. Great pitches by Trevor Rogers. He jams him inside with a fastball. Chapman punches it in the air to center field. Jazz is there, makes the catch. That's eight consecutive Giants retired by Trevor Rogers. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning here at Lone Depot Park. 2-1. That is hit on a line to left field. On comes Fitzgerald, and he's got it. Ooh, the snow cone action there. Jazz is ticked off. He broke his bat and hit a ball about 390 feet in the first inning. It's two really good at bats, and Jazz has nothing to show for it this afternoon. Top of the fifth inning here at Lone Depot Park. Ten consecutive Giants retired by Trevor. He looks really sharp. Parade is catching a good game in his big league debut. As 93 is called strike three. That fastball popped out of the mid of Parade. He went to his right and picked it up with his bare hand. He's got a smile on his face as he walks back to the dugout. 11 consecutive Giants retired by Rogers, who punched out five here this afternoon. So far, Tim Anderson leads off the bottom of the fifth. The 0-2. That is dribbled softly towards third. Here comes the Platinum Glove Award winner, Chapman. And Anderson is safe at first. He beat it out. Boy, he can boogie when he wants to. That's an infield leadoff single. Here's the pitch. And a swing. Ground ball to short. Could be two. Ahmed flips to Estrada for one. Over to first for two. A double play. Giants turn it. And Keaton win now with five scoreless innings.
We're in the top of the sixth inning. Tyler Fitzgerald, he'll lead things off. Giants need a base runner just to interrupt the rhythm this guy has. Trevor Rogers has retired 11 in a row. Fitzgerald, a little looping liner into left field, and that's a base hit. So there, that stops that streak. Jung Hoo Lee with two down. Lee on the ground, slowly hit. It'll be the shortstop Anderson who was going to go to second with Lee's speed and there was nobody there so he didn't make a throw and the Giants get a break and unfortunately and not to Tim Anderson's fault by any means that's going to cost Trevor Rogers a full six innings of work this afternoon Skip Schumacher is out to make a pitching change Declan Cronin's coming in and now the bases are loaded for Matt Chapman with a pitch is grounded a high chopper towards second arise has it fields and fires and the inning is over so Cronin comes on issues a walk to Solaire but he gets Chapman to bounce out to arise Giants leave him loaded in the sixth well, we go to the bottom of the sixth inning here at Lone Depot Park maybe off of Wynn's foot hops in the air Estrada off the ricochet throws him out and Wynn gets up, thank goodness. Gets the assist, hockey style. But one to four to three. Dave Gresham is going to come out and make sure he is okay. Got him right on the instep of his left foot. And he's okay. He'll now face Ryan De La Cruz. And DLC hits it high in the air, deep to right field. Slater's going back out of the warning track. Wall, it's gone. It's out of here. De La Cruz has tied it at one here in the bottom of the six. He is on some kind of a tear right now. He's got that million dollar smile too. Five straight games with an extra base hit, hitting 341 over his last 11, and he just tied the game. Declan Cronin got the final out of the sixth. He will work the seventh. The Giants have him on the corners with nobody out. The hitter will be Nick Ahmed. That's up the middle. Diving play by Arise to get one and to get two. What a tremendous play, Luis Arise. He was the only infielder that was back a step or two, and that might have given him the range to make the play. A couple of steps in the dive. He goes over, hits the bag, gets up, and finishes the double play. What a thing of beauty. Two outs on the play, but the run does come in to score. The eighth inning now, two to one Giants. Giants would love to add to the lead here late. Two on, two out. Matt Chapman 0 for 3 today. Came up in a really big spot his last time up and grounded out. 3-1 pitch. He lines it down the right field line. That's a hit for Chapman. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Lee is in to score. So Lair to third. He'll stop there. Chapman at second with a double. A huge extra run for the Giants. It's 3-1. to one. He got a pitch to hit there on the 3-1 offering. And he doubles in a run to make it 3-1 to one Giants. Bottom half of the eighth inning. So here is Avi batting 200 this season with two homers and two RBIs. He rolls one softly toward third. Barehand Chapman and his throw just gets away. Another infield hit against the Giants. Great effort from Matt Chapman. So the tying man is at the plate. That is Rivera. There's a fly ball hit down the right field line in pursuit of Yastrzemski who's in the ball game and it's foul again. That's awesome. <laughs> Nice hug for That's the sister. Great. That's beautiful. Yeah, I was like almost gonna give it to the sister, but then no, 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 not quite. <laughs> Might have to now. There you go. Oh, that's excellent. Three and two. Ground ball, base hit, right field. So the Marlins go to the bench and pick up two pinch hits, and it will bring up Luis Arise. Arise on the ground. Estrada flips. That's one. Ahmed got him double play. Tyler Rogers induces the inning ending double play and is able to maintain the two run Giants lead onto the ninth. And the Giants closer, Camilo Doval, out there. Two gone in the bottom of the ninth. Bell out to right center. Lee on the move, and he'll get there to make the catch. And this game is over. Camilo Doval goes three up, three down, saves it for Keaton Wynn, and the Giants beat the Marlins today three to one.